Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Like shiver in here, man, I bet it is really cold. Uh, especially standing in this water. Oh, he sneezed. Oh no, he's got a cold. Quick, let's get him inside. <laughs> yep, so we're up here uh, in Zora's Domain. We've just finished off the Ice Cavern and picked up the Iron Boots. So, um, let's walk up to King Zora here, and this is why I said we need the Bottle of Blue Fire, because we can uh, take care of his little ice barrier here with it. So that's definitely what we're gonna do. So let's save the poor guy, and we're gonna get to talk to him again, so that's cool. Oh, oh, climb up there. Alright, man. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. Yeah, pff, these accursed lungs, man. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. Hey, and he's gonna give us the Zora tunic. This diving suit is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Wear it, and you won't drown underwater. Oh, well, that's very nice. Thank you for that. Ah, I see. Princess Ruto went to the water temple. She sure didn't. Okay, so, um, let's see. I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. Um, at this point, we can actually complete the uh, Big Goron Sword side quest, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, now that we've unfrozen King Zora, remember we need to show this guy um, the prescription, so that's the next step in it, pretty much. But uh, really, once you get this thing started, that's, uh, you know, you're really going to have to continue on through with it, because there's a lot of things that are on a time limit here. So, uh, let's go ahead and do it. I'll show this guy the prescription. Oh, this is, well, hmm, hmm, eye drops. You might say we have them, you might say we don't. We do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake laboratory, he can make the drops for you. But you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Uh, well, sure I can. Oh, holy crap, it's a frog! Oh my gosh. Isn't that just like the cutest thing? I don't want to turn this thing into eye drops. Come on, man. Yep, so we have to be quick and deliver it to Lake Hylia while it's cold. And that's going to start up the next leg of the uh, trading side quest. We've got three minutes to get all the way to Lake Hylia. Yeah, it's literally on the opposite end of the world from here. So uh, we're going to have to do a lot of running. This is the stage in the quest where you really need Epona um, if you want to be able to do it. So uh, just keep that in mind. Of course, the eyeball frog is now taking up that spot on our inventory. It's just so cute sitting there. But unfortunately, we have to turn the things into eye drops. So, well, go figure. Um... Yeah, so now we're going to be racing back out to Hyrule Field. While you don't get carried away in the river like you did when you were a kid, it does actually help your speed out a little bit, I think. And it also provides you a, uh, you know, quick, straight route to the field. So this is definitely the way we want to go uh, through the water here. Don't really even have to worry about the Octoroks because they uh, disappear when you get close to them. So, there you go. Alright, so let's just uh, keep on going here. Eventually, at some point, we will start swimming. Yeah, right here, it gets deep enough to swim. So let's go ahead and get a move on. There we go. Alright, so it took us about a minute to get out. That's pretty much normal. Um, it's also probably a good idea to make sure you left uh, Epona in a good spot. Of course, you know, we didn't really know that when we were coming in, but... Um, so she could have been in a better spot, I think, but... Can I climb up this? Yeah, I can. Alright, good. Okay, so let's uh, head on out and turn and start going to Lake Hylia. Of course, it's the very, very southwest exit, so we've got quite a bit of riding ahead of us, but uh, we should make it in time because that exit is pretty much uh, right next to where we need to be anyway, so that's good. Um, so let's just make our way over there. <laughs> this is where a big Poe appeared before, but it's not going to this time because we already killed it. Alright, so a minute and a half, we've definitely got plenty of time. Uh, if you know where you're going, this really isn't that bad. The time limits are pretty much nothing at all, as long as you're somewhat quick about it, so... Alright, here's the entrance to Lake Hylia right here. Let's make sure we've got enough carrots saved up. And go. Awesome. Alright, so we head in, and uh, King Zora said we needed to be heading towards the Observatory, which is uh, thankfully just right here. Like I said, it's right next to where you need to be anyway, so that's good. Um, I'm actually going to turn Epona around real quick while we can, and not check the sign, but uh, drop down. Alright, so we got 50 seconds to head in here, so that's definitely plenty of time, but um, as you can see, it's pretty much impossible without Epona, so... Oh, come on, dude, show it to him. No, don't talk to him. Come on. <laughs> there we go. This is a stick-up. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Oh, wow. I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since Sora's domain froze over. These eyeballs are so delicious. Tonight, I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. <laughs> 
Such great stuff! Please say thank you to King Zora. Eh? What? These are for making Big Oron's eye drops? Oh, how disappointing! You should have said so in the first place! Oh, you didn't let me. Here it is! This medicine doesn't have any preser preservatives in it, so it won't last long at this temperature. Run as fast as you can to Death Mountain. You're young, you can do it. <laughs> yep, so he's going to give us the world's finest eye drops, and here's yet another one with a time limit on it. Um, there's also something you were probably wondering before. Yes, we do have a warp song to get back to Lake Hylia, but you can't use it while these timers are running. Uh, because if you do, it, as soon as you uh, plop down, it'll send you um, immediately to zero and you'll automatically fail. So you have to do this uh, actually running there. You can't use the warp song to get there. Because uh, we could get back to Big Goron pretty quickly if we were to use the Bolero of Fire. But um, we can't. So uh, we're going to have to ride all the way back there. Which is uh, literally on the other side of the world. I mean, it's even more so than Sora's Domain was from here. But um, thankfully they give you an extra minute for this one. So that's good. Because we are going to have have to go through Kakariko and then climb all the way back up, so um, the extra minute is really needed. Um, it's like, I think there's a gap here, but I can't see. The carrots are in the way. Okay, so let's just keep riding and uh, head towards Death Mountain. I really want to keep this in because it's sort of like, you know, it's on a timer, so um, it seems like something that I should probably just show all the way straight through, uh, even though it really is just traveling back and forth, but, well, that's how it goes. Um, we're actually getting uh, pretty close to finishing off this uh, side quest. Once we give him the eye drops, he's going to be able to fix the sword for us. So um, that's we're literally like right next to it. There's just like one more step after this. So uh, that's good. We're going to get our hands on a brand new weapon. Definitely needed. Um, all right, so let's hurry on through Kakariko Village. Uh, back walking is probably not a bad idea. Don't really need it, I guess, but uh, it saves a little bit of time at least. Oh, <laughs> just a little bit short. Okay. So let's uh, climb on up here. I almost fell off there while rolling around. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. We got two and a half minutes to get up there, so um, that's good. We can also actually use a little bit of a shortcut since we planted the uh, magic bean before. We've ridden it before to get up to uh, Goron Village, but you can actually um, ride it to pretty much uh, start climbing Death Mountain a little bit sooner. So, of course, avoid the big rocks. That's always just a given. So let's ride this thing, and uh, this time not get off when we get up here. But um, if we keep riding it around, it will take us up to this part. So we can just go ahead and start climbing the mountain. So uh, we definitely have plenty of time at this point. Two minutes is uh, <laughs> really generous. So let's make our way over there. Um, we're going to have to take care of a few uh, Skullwatchulas on the wall here. So uh, just keep that in mind. Z-targeting is good, though. So there you go. Alright, so let's climb up and over to the left, take care of these guys. There we are. Hey, climbing up. I wonder if we uh, if we make it before uh, it turns to one minute, we would have actually made it in three minutes, so <laughs> that's kind of cool. We're actually right there. I think we can do it, so. Turns out I didn't technically need the extra minute, but <laughs> it's definitely nice. Alright, so yeah, this guy's going to wake up again, so let's... Uh, Give him the eye drops. Really? You brought the eye drops? I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. Wow! This is stimulating. It's working great. Oh no, you still talk funny. Now I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very consistent, so I'll give this to you so you won't forget. After a few days, please return. Wait, just wait patiently. And he's gonna give us the bigger on uh, the, the he's gonna give us the claim check for uh, the big Oron sword. You can't wait for the sword to be completed. And as he said, we need to return in a few days. But uh, thankfully, through the power of some sort of magic sorcery, we can make time flow really quickly. So uh, while we're standing here, we just need to play the sun song. We need to wait three days, I think. So uh, you play the sun song six times, and then that will uh, take us to where we need to be. All right, and it is now 
Daytime. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's speak to him again. I uh, made this trade for the claim check, so let's show it to him. And that sword is my finest work. And then for all of our troubles, we finally get the big Goron sword. This blade was forged by a master smith and won't break. So that is going to be our final sword here. As you can see, there's no more space for any more. Let's go ahead and equip it. The big Goron sword is twice as powerful as the master sword. Um, so, well, there you go. A uh, regular swing of it is pretty much the same power as the Master Sword's jump attack. Um, and also, the thing to note is, it's so big, you need two hands to wield it. So, uh, you can't use your shield while wielding this thing. That's just kind of the drawback to it. But, um, it's definitely super powerful and the most powerful thing you can get. So, awesome. It's pretty good that we got it. Alright, so uh, now we're going to be um, actually taking care of a few more side things before we start the uh, next water temple. So, uh, I'm sure everybody's looking forward to that. Um, let's play the Prelude of Light to warp back to the Temple of Time so we can uh, sort of speed up the process of getting to where we need to go. So let's exit the Temple of Time and get back out towards Hyrule Field. All right, so here we are. Let's play a Pona song real quick and uh, get her by our side. It's really nice to have her because she makes traveling so much faster. So there she is. Oh, she just magically appeared right in front of us. That's awesome. So let's hop on and uh, head over here. We're actually going to uh, seek out a tree over here by the northwestern uh, side near where the lake is. You can see this kind of one tree that's just sort of sitting all by itself. That's our target. So... Let's ride on over there. And get off of Epona. Well, you know what? I never actually equipped the Zora tunic. We got it a while back, but I never put it on. Well, there it is. There's the Zora tunic. So let's go ahead and put it on just for, uh, you know, good measure. And it's definitely pretty cool. Um, I do like the blue. It's probably, it's kind of a tie for me between the green and the blue. Um, the green is, you know, like traditional and it, it's good and everything. But um, the blue is also pretty nice looking as well. So. I'm going to be wearing it for a little while. Alright, so we can drop down this pit that we bombed out. There's a uh, Tektite here waiting for us. We don't really need to deal with him, though, because um, where we're actually going is underneath the water here. So we can don our iron boots and head on down. And as you can see, there's a piece of heart here, so that's what we came here for. Okay, so let's uh, float on up. You gotta, uh, yeah, every time you need to sink down and float up, you're going to have to switch between the Kokiri boots and the iron boots. And that's going to happen a lot in the Water Temple. So uh, get used to seeing that menu for sure. But it would have been cool if you would have jumped out and hopped right on Epona. That would have been awesome. But, <laughs> oh well. Okay, um, now actually that we're done with that, I'm going to get off of Epona because we're going to... Uh, go to Lake Hylia. There's just a couple things we need to do around there, and then we will be heading straight for the Water Temple. So, um, pretty exciting stuff. Let's go ahead and warp there since it's faster than riding, and uh, we get to use the song. So, <laughs> that's always fun. Okay, so now that we're here at Lake Hylia, the unfortunate thing is it puts us, like, all the way back over here. So, uh, you kind of have to uh, go a ways to get to where you need to go, but, well, it's still faster than riding, so actually you just kind of have to deal with it. Alright, so now we're going to head back up here, and uh, we're going to get something around the observatory. So let's uh, head on up, try out our new sword. The other kind of good thing about the big Goron sword is that its reach is incredible. Um, it's a little bit longer than the Master Sword, and if you do a spin attack, it's, like, even bigger. So... Um, that's definitely pretty cool. Uh, we're going to be using it quite a bit, but I do like having the shield. Um, you've probably seen I do use it quite a bit, so um, I'll be switching back and forth as, uh, you know, my needs are presented to me. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, man, that didn't work at all, did it? Alright, come back over here. Where are you, anyway? Uh... Hello, Magic Leaf, where'd you go? I kind of need you for this. What, did it get stuck somewhere or something? Hmm. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, jeez, I, I don't know where it went to, but, oh, well, it's back. Alright, so we need to jump up here onto the roof. You can also use the Scarecrow song, so... Oh, man, I swear, these things. Uh, sometimes they really bug you, and sometimes they leave you alone. It just kind of depends. But... Well, if you hit me again, I swear, man. Oh, alright, it is on. You are totally dying now. 
All right, where are you at? I'm gonna shoot you with an arrow. That's that's what I think of you. I'm gonna. I don't care if it takes me like five minutes. I'm going to shoot this guy with an arrow. Let's see, it's this one right here. Come on. Ah, so close, dude. Get back here. Ha! I got gotcha. you. What do you think of that? All right. Anyway, um, that that took a lot of time, but I needed to get my revenge. I, I mean, I, I had to. I didn't have a choice. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get this heart piece up here, and then I will probably end the video. There's still a couple more things we need to do, but you know, I don't really want this taking too long. So uh, we can just take care of them before we go into the water temple. It's no big deal. So there's a piece of heart up here on the roof, which is good. Uh, we're at the 15 now, by the way. I think we got that with uh, one of our pieces. So um, I don't really remember, but. Um, we can also see the fishing pond is still over there. That's actually where we're going to be going next. We can pick up a, uh, another upgrade. And once we pick that up, we can get a few more things over here in the observatory. Once we do that, it's time for the water temple, which is down there. So um, that's pretty much the itinerary for the next episode, which is going to be tons of fun, I assure you. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.